Hey guys, this is Paul. Uh, today I'm going to be remaking my how to take a screenshot on a Mac video. Um, the last one was almost nine years ago and there's definitely been some updates to Mac OS X since then. Um, so right now I've got OS Catalina installed. Um, so please be sure you have that, uh, the latest version of Catalina uh, installed if you want everything to be exactly the same as what I've got right now. Um, so. Um, I guess for a normal screenshot, you're going to press Command, Shift, and 3. And as soon as you press all three of those buttons together, it's going to appear in your bottom right hand corner and you can click on it and then it'll bring it up in a larger view and you've got several options so you can make some annotations, drawing, uh, add text, stuff like that. and um, one of the coolest options, I think, is this button right here. If you hover over it, I've already got it connected to my iPhone, but um, if you click it, um, it'll bring it up on your phone, um, given your phone's close by. Uh, it doesn't have to be connected via wire. Um, and then you can annotate it with your finger instead, or uh, if you have an iPad, you can connect to your iPad, annotate it with an Apple Pencil. Um, so there's a lot of options, and I think that's really cool and valuable. Um, say you're you know making edits to somebody's paper and it's easier for you to make your notes and stuff with an apple pencil um, then you could connect to your ipad make those notes um, and then um, send it back to them so um, that's how you take a full screenshot um, the next is going to be well, i'm going to disconnect the next will be is if you just take a screenshot um, of a selected area so this time, instead of Command, Shift, and 3, um, it's still Command and Shift, and you press 4. And then, as soon as you do that, your cursor should turn to a crosshair um, with the X and Y axis um, on the pixel grid uh, right next to it. Those are those little numbers. Um, and then, uh, all you have to do is drag, click and drag, and once you find the area you want to take a picture of, just release. It'll pop up in your bottom right hand corner again. Um, now please note that when it pops up in your bottom hand, right hand corner, it hasn't saved to your computer yet. Um, if you want to save it, you can click done and it should pop up here on your desktop like that last one did. Um, I believe if you just press the X, uh, it does as well. So, um, but I'm gonna bring that a new one up really quick. Um, so you have your annotating options again. Um, and here, actually, I will show you what it looks like on the iPhone screen. So if I click here, as you can see, this is a, a recording or um, live mirror of my iPhone screen, but it, it brings the screenshot, screenshot up on there and you can watch my mouse is going to stay right here and I'll draw with my finger just some lines all over it. There you go. So, um, yeah, so that's a really valuable tool. Um, and then you can also, of course, revert back to the original. Uh, and then if you click up here, you've got some options for sharing mail, messages, preview, all of these options. Um, and I believe you can add more if you'd like, um, depending on what extensions you have installed. Um, but yeah, if you click done, it'll appear here. If you want to get rid of them, you can drag them to your trash. Or if you don't like this screenshot you've taken, you can just press the the little, I'll show you the trash icon that's in this editor right here. And it won't even go on your desktop. It'll just um, go straight to your trash. Um, well, anyway, I really hope this video helped out some people. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, so please leave a comment on what you think I should do a video on next. Um, and if this helped you or not, uh, if you have any suggestions, I'd really appreciate it as well. So um, enjoy and let me know if you have questions. Thanks.